Friends, after two very long years, we've come so far. Because of the sacrifices made by Ontarians and the amazing care provided by our healthcare heroes, we've been able to safely and cautiously reopen our province. Now looking ahead, we want to ensure Ontario is better prepared for the future. We're producing more masks, gowns, gloves, goggles, face shields and ventilators right here at home. Because of our ambitious plan that's building Ontario, we're adding thousands of hospital and long-term care beds. With the support of our government's historic funding, cities and towns all over Ontario are attracting more doctors, nurses and personal support workers to care for patients. But we can do more to build a stronger, more resilient health system. And today, our government is continuing to do so right here at the Ottawa Hospital because we're investing $29.1 million to help Ottawa Hospital plan its new state-of-the-art civic campus. This is one of the largest planning grants in Ontario's history and will ensure the Ottawa Hospital will continue to meet the needs of this growing community for generations to come. And it will dramatically improve the quality of health care that this community receives. This is something that has been desperately needed for decades and we're proud to deliver for the people of Ottawa. Folks, a lot of people have talked about this project, but we're the ones that will get it done. And the new Civic Campus will include a cutting edge trauma centre, a larger emergency department and an updated surgical suite and over 300 new beds, including acute care and a new rehabilitation centre so that the patients can get the care they need close to home. Construction on this vital project will start in 2024 and is all part of our government's mission to end hallway health care once and for all and to ensure that Ontarians can get the care they need when they need it, regardless of where they live. Today's investment is part of our 30 billion dollar commitment to modernize and expand Ontario's healthcare infrastructure over the next 10 years. These are not band-aid solutions. We are getting shovels in the ground and investing for a stronger future for generations to come. Our province has come so far. We can't afford to go back to the politics and no. Instead, our government is saying yes. Yes to building modern hospitals. Yes to investing in our communities. And yes to building a stronger, more resilient province. Friends, let's say yes to the better and brighter future that the people of Ontario deserve. I want to thank you and God bless.